This is a standard brushed DC motor. It consists of five coils and two magnets. The collector has five contacts. The brushes are made of graphite. One brush is already badly worn out. I will be making a motor with three coils. It is important to position the coils as level as possible. First, I fixed the iron cores with glue. Then I filled the cores with filled epoxy. The filler is needed so that the epoxy does not spread very much. The end of the first coil is connected to the beginning of the second coil. Then the end of the second coil is connected to the beginning of the third coil. And the end of the thirds is connected to the beginning of the first. This is a standard delta connection. All reels are wound in one direction. Then I checked the rotor center of gravity deviation. And he made an adjustment with additional weights. Now you need to put the rotor and the collector on the axle and connect the coils to the collector contacts. In my version, the collector contacts are located between the coils.
I glued neodymium magnets onto two pieces of plexiglass. I used the bearing holders from a previously made single coil motor. Let's check if the engine will run on a 1.5 volt battery. I soldered the copper brushes to the steel plates with regular solder. I made brushes with pressure regulators. After several minutes of operation, the copper brushes became very hot and one of them lost soldering. I decided to replace the copper brushes with chrome plated steel brushes made from regular paper clips. With chrome brushes, the engine ran a little longer, but at currents of 3 5 amperes, the brushes and the collector also burns and heats up. As a result of my mockery of the motor with high currents, one collector contact peeled off from the heating and flew away. I didn't find it in my room. The engine did not last long, but happily. The memory of him will remain in our hearts.